I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Lambo. Today we're kicking off a brand new Farming Simulator 25 modding series. In this episode, I'll walk you through the basics of modding and editing vehicles in the game, starting from the ground up. If you're new to modding, you're in the right place. This is where you want to begin before tackling those complex mod conversions. Speaking of which, we'll be diving into how to convert mods to FS25 in future episodes. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to find out when I drop those videos. Right now, we don't have access to the new Giants editor. So we'll be using code to manipulate in-game equipment. This way you'll really get a hands-on with the fundamentals of modding. If you're looking for deep dives, I'll be covering those over on my Patreon, but for now, let's get you started with the essentials. First thing and most important thing, we need to activate our dev control. That way we can take over the world. So you're going to find this location here, this PC, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you have this game on Steam, this is gonna be the address for you. If not, you're gonna be looking for a folder that looks very similar to this. And you want this file right here, game.xml. I want you to open that up and I will show you exactly what we're gonna change in there. Now, when you open this up, it's gonna look just like this. And uh, you're gonna come down here to where it says development. And right here where it says controls, for you, initially, this will say false. You need to change that to a true and hit save. After you do that, you'll be able to access the in-game dev controls. All right, so we have this basic little Kubota. I I really like this thing. I love it. You can put stuff in the back and fill it up. I also love it has a two point attacher and it's very basic. So I feel like it's a good mod to get started with. So let us create the mod and we're going to boost up the fill capacity so we can really load a lot of stuff in on this. And I'll show you how to remove the mask in case you want to get crazy with it and so on and so forth. Let's dive into making the mod. Now, if you've never used a uh, mod disc before, or you don't have one that's laying around from uh, FS22 at all, I will put on the screen and down in the description a link to a Dropbox folder that has this initial sample mod for you to copy and do exactly what I'm doing. So go download that now. This is the basics of that folder. Once you download it, it has a mod description, a sample icon, store item uh, that you can use. And inside of the XML, we are gonna put in our modded vehicle from in-game. From here there, we are going to open up the FS25 data folder. Uh, you can look up here and kind of see where mine is if you purchase on Steam. If not, you are looking for a folder similar to this one. Once we get here, we're gonna double click on vehicles and they are listed by brands. I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see them nice and big here. They are listed by brand, so you would go in game and you're gonna find what vehicle it is. What we're looking for is the Kabuto. Kabuto, don't judge me for butchering its name. So wherever that is, we will find it momentarily. Right there. Okay. Once we found that there, next we are going to locate the one particular we're looking for is the E850, and that is this little guy right here, the store icon showing what it is we're gonna find this xml folder in here and we're gonna copy it so just right click on it hit copy don't edit the one in here you're gonna really mess up your game don't edit anything in here you just use it as reference from there we're gonna come right into back into our sample mod folder and we're gonna paste this in here in order for the game to read this we're gonna need to take this name we're gonna copy it we're gonna go back to our mod description here right down here where you see store item I'm just going to copy and paste that. I'm not going to get too technical with all the information on here, but this is the current mod disc version. It's the version of the game that this mod was designed for. 92 is the initial one for us initial launch. You change my name out for your name. And every time you do an update, you'll add a version number here. So if we uploaded this one time, it'd be version one and then 1.0, so on and so forth. Here is reaching into the mod to look at the icon that we have created. So if you're going to change the name of that bad boy, uh, you need to reflect it inside of the mod disk. Next, you would put the name of your mod here. So you're going to change it to truck, car, whatever, whatever it is you in-game. And I recommend in-gaming something first before you try to convert because conversions, we, nobody really knows how to do it yet. So start here, you know, start small. But we'll, we'll start running one day. So now the game is going to load that up as is. Like 
technically this works as is from the get-go. But what we want to do is we want to increase the fill capacity on this. So let's dive into our XML. Do not edit the in-game one. We're going to open it up in here. And you're going to see a bunch of information. Do not get overwhelmed. Uh, what I would recommend is either use the search function using control F or you can just scroll down the line here until you see a tag that says fill, uh, fill, fill, fill here somewhere right here, fill unit configurations. And you can see here that it has bulk. Bulk is going to be a handful of stuff that the game has listed. And all this information is in game, by the way, that I'm about ready to show you. We can go right to map fill types here on this other side. And this has all of the fill types that the game recognizes in game. Here's a good chunk of it. And here's the fill type categories, right? So fill type category bulk. So this thing can hold all that stuff. Barley, you can locate this, this fill types to learn for yourself inside your data folder inside your FS25. So if we go back to this guy, we want to add a ridiculous amount, not ridiculous. Let's just say 20,000. So this bad boy is going to get 20,000. But there's one issue that we're going to run into here, and that is a lot of weight. So the minute you load up this bad boy, it is going to sag, droop, drip, drive, won't, dri it won't do anything. You're just going to be like so heavy that the vehicle cannot drive at all. So a couple of things, either A, we could boost up the engine, or there is a snip, nip, snip, nip. Oh man, that's a tongue twister for me right now. There's a little code snip that I have that I'm going to share with you on how to use this properly. And that code is this. Update mass false. So what it will do is not update the mass at all. It will not make it any heavier, no matter how much you put in or how much you put out. Now, you don't have to worry about this if you're going to put in reasonable amounts, like if you're going to double it and just make it a thousand capacity instead of the only the 500 it was. But because we're putting in 20,000 liters, it's going to make it to where the butt end of the Kubota is going to like lean back and fall into the world. So that's the basics of that. Now, after we hit save and we go to reload up our game, this is going to work. This is going to be viable in game, you know, but maybe I'm broke. Maybe, maybe I don't want to spend what the 12 grand it is to buy it. Okay. Maybe I want a discount. Well, in order to do that, just come right here. Change your price in this location to whatever it is you want. Okay. Another thing you can do, maybe you don't like how fast it breaks down. Okay, maybe it breaks down way too fast and you're putting a lot of repair time into it, just stacking up the bills. This lifetime here, I believe, is 600 hours, in-game hours. Go and I believe, okay, bear with me. There's no book for this. We're going to change that to 2,000 hours. So now it won't degrade completely to where it doesn't drive and you have to repair it until 2,000 hours into the game. Now... There is not much else that I would recommend to start doing too much right off the bat uh, because you can extremely break it. But the nice thing is if you break it, you just need to literally come back into your main game, recopy the folder, and then reload it. And I highly suggest you go through here and you look at some stuff. Maybe, maybe you want to change the attacher type or whatnot. You can totally come in here and mess with that stuff. Just be cautious because if you come in here and put like a, a an, an H after something or you bump your keyboard and then you hit save, it'll it'll break it, completely break it. Now we're not going to use Giant's Editor because at the current version of Giant's Editor it is it will break the in-game stuff. Don't even open up Giant's Editor; just leave it as is. Uh, this would be where you would edit the engine at. Maybe you want it to go faster. Maybe it's too heavy. Maybe you want more torque. Uh, these are all locations that you would do that in. So as of right now, it does a top speed of 65. Uh, this is another thing you might want to change the motor start duration. Sometimes I feel Giants kind of overdoes it with how long it takes for something to start. And I believe this is seconds. So it takes 3.2 seconds to start up. And maybe we want to change that to 1.2 seconds. The next thing I'd like to cover would be the discharge node. Uh, if you're going to put stupid amounts of stuff that it can hold in there, you're going to be waiting a long time for it to empty. 
uh, not good, right? So we are going to change the empty speed right here from 115 to maybe a thousand. Just really expedite it. Uh, so it's going to go a thousand liters a second, which is a lot faster, 10 times faster than what it was. So if you're going to add 10 times the amount to the back of your whatever it is you're boosting the capacity on, you should consider coming down here to discharge node and editing that as well. And there could be multiple discharge nodes and there could be multiple uh, fill unit blocks that you have to change this in. So keep in mind, that's why you should start simple with just this one. And as is right now, ready to rock and roll. Let's throw it in game and let's see what comes about. All right, back in game here and First thing I'd like to do is there is a little, uh, I can't remember what the, it's the till key. That's what it is. You're going to want to press the till key. And I'll try to put that on screen here to show you how to do it. And what it's going to do with your dev commands activated, it's going to bring up this little text that pop up and you can use your page up and page down to scroll through. Uh, it's what this is, is it's loading all these individual placeables and whatnot where you're going to be taking a peek to look for potential errors in your mods super important super basic you need to know this if you're uploading mods and they're littered with errors don't say i didn't tell you okay, at least you can know before you do it also if you're not making mods and you just want to check to see if something's garbage or not this is a good way to do it it's always nice and friendly to let a modder know be like hey i checked this and just letting you know there was some issues but as it stands right now we don't have any issues what i like to do is Go to here and have this up and I'm going to do cars and bikes. I'm going to scroll down here and now we can see our sample in game mod. I'll get rid of this screen for just a second. But it is in game and if we click on it, we can see that it has now boosted up to 20,000 liters there. And if we look, if we compare it to this one at 48 horsepower to that one. I don't think I changed that. I think that's the only thing really we can tell from this screen. We go to click on this now I like to have that fill key up and we will see if it loads in or not and as you can see it loaded straight from the end game so we can't do any edits to the i3d but what we can do is we can see that we have a extremely large capacity now here 20,000 liters so let's buy it see if we get any errors not a single error something's happening now you can do this with every single vehicle mod placeable in the game i will be diving into more like possibly uh one of the first things i did when i started this game was i went through and i edited this crone where the disc could let me go 40 miles an hour and this trailer holds stupid amounts of grass yeah, that's one of the first things I did. That'll probably be my next video. So make sure you hit subscribe, comment down below. Maybe I can cover something else that you have in mind for FS25. But keep in mind, as of recording this video, we do not have a Giants editor. So this is the primo time to learn how to code for this game before you get so distracted by putting all this crap in your mods. It's just going to break it anyways. So very excited for that. So from this moment, let's say we want to make a change. My brain has decided on something. Do you notice the weight right here? 799 kilograms. Let's go through and change that. Now, the easiest way to do that, we're going to get back out of here. I have both the game open and the XML open. So inside of the XML, we're going to come right down here to where it says mass. It weighs 630 mass. Maybe that is not heavy enough for you maybe you're doing some serious lifting or whatnot i do recommend if you're going to change the mass here that you should probably boost up the engine uh, under the torque section but just for updating purposes i want to show you how this works so we're going to change this to 700 mass we'll hit save on this we're going to open our game back up and in here we're going to press our kill key press it twice and I want you to type in uh, store items reload. If you just write in store, it'll kind of auto populate right there. GS store items reload. You're going to want that. We're going to press enter and press enter again. And we're going to watch this number change. So you can see that you can reload changes in game with it open. 
uh, now it is 869 kilograms. We can do that for a number of things. Keep in mind, if you change like your top speed and your power here, that does not mean that it actually changes the vehicle. Uh, we that it, that all comes from doing the engine. So if we did power of 100 and top speed of 110, I think it would be a super kaboto. But and then we come here to GS power. You'll notice that those numbers also change here. You can hold 33 liters of water or not water of fuel. So let's go through and maybe we're going to increase our fuel here. That would be under the fill types, which is one cha new change that I noticed that they did is you now require an exact fill node for the fuel. Pretty wild, but hey, what they did. So let's change that to 50. Maybe we want a little bit more fuel in there. Just hit save. Come back into here. And it hasn't changed yet. We have to do store items reload. Now we can hold 50 liters in there. Now, if you do any changes to once we get Giants Editor and you actually do the changes inside of I3D, maybe you put a flag on here or whatever the thing is. Any changes that are made inside I3D have to be updated in game a little bit differently. So how we would do that is you either want to stand near your vehicle or in it, depending on which version of the code you use. And then we're going to hit the till key one more time and then tap it one more time. And we're going to go uh, GS vehicle and we're going to look for vehicle reload. And it's right there. GS vehicle reload. We'll put that in there. And if you're inside of the vehicle, when you pre just press the normal, it'll just update that one vehicle. You can uh, do this code, which is GS vehicle all. So it's going to update all the vehicles that are within a 50 meter radius. And if we did that, it updates all everything. Now we can't access I3D to actually show you what that would do, uh, but that's how you would update in game. And that, I believe, gentlemen, should get you in a lot of trouble. If that's going to get you in a lot of trouble, all this information, and at least get you going until Giants Editor, make sure to give me a like down below if you want more content like this. I'm going to give uh, YouTube a shot again, so with your support, I will keep putting out more videos, but I need your interaction to let me know if this is something that's worth my time or not. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one.